begin our cycle of life by arriving in Achiano, where we meet the spirit bird, Guanao, who teaches us about our innocence and open-mindedness. The direction of the South Gate, which is represented by the color green, the central axis of the breath of life. The very beginning, where we begin with our innocence and open-mindedness. Green as a budding little plant that is to grow into a big tree and bloom fruits and flowers. Achiano blesses us with the sacred green squash, the essential nutrient that will guide us, that will help us in our growth and development as we take seven more steps to arrive at Koromo. Arriving at Koromo, we are greeted by the keeper of this western gate, Mukaro. Mukaro, who teaches us about introspection, to look deep inside, to learn and to know what's there. To ask ourselves, who am I? What am I destined for? What do I want to be? Sending up smoke to the ancestors and the great spirit. Koromo is represented by the color black, the darkness of the night, where it is silent, where it is peaceful, where we are often by ourselves in our dreamscape and self-reflection and introspection. Koromo, the West, blesses us with the sacred black beans, a powerful nutrient, a protein nutrient to give us the vitality, the strength, so we can continue our journey seven steps till we arrive in Rakuno, the north. In Rakuno, we are greeted by the spirit bird, Kulibri, Zum Zum, who teaches us about the elusive gift that cannot be achieved without paying the price of experience. Da. Ashi.